Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is an important one for you. And that is because right out of the gate, as we start this month, we are going to have a new moon in your sign. Now, normally you get one new moon per sign per year. So this is your moment and it represents your own personal new year. And this is a new year that's going to start with some energy. I'll tell you that and some motivation to change. It is going to be this new moon that is hand in hand with Venus and speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Now, most of the world is going to have this take place uh, right around the first of the month, but you might want to give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. So this is certainly energy you're feeling as you come into this month. That connection with Venus tells me that there's a part of you that is feeling connected to heart, feeling connected to your own sense of worthiness, to have your own love, to have your own self-respect. And perhaps there's also some sense of, of wonder and possibility as to what it is that you could manifest or do or enjoy as you move forward from here. However, it is that connection with Uranus that is especially interesting because it is one of tension. Now that can bring with it tremendous motivation, uh, which means that you are feeling very much like change must happen. And that can have with it some sweeping consequences, but it can also bring with it some challenge, some sense of surprise. Now, I actually think most of this is going to be very self-oriented. It's going to be you that is feeling as if you are ready to change. It's going to be you that is feeling the challenge of actually doing the work that change sometimes requires, but that can also be part of the blessing. That can be part of what makes it so liberating. It is when we do the work to become whom it is that we know we can be, even if it is that we don't even know what that is just yet or whom it is that we might become. Well, that is one powerful way towards self-respect. And I think that you are on that journey. Now, if it is that your birthday is taking place in the first days of August, these are themes that are gonna be with you all year, but all Leos are gonna be feeling this energy right out of the gate as we start this month. And so there's this sense of possibility and excitement with this energy, but also some frustration thinking that you need to be where it is that you want to be two years from now. You can only get there one day at a time. There's only one way to get to where it is you're hoping for. And that really is just one step at a time, one day at a time. You can't rush that process. It's wonderful that you are feeling and taking ownership for whom it is that you want to move towards. And all you can do really to empower yourself most is take action. Take some action to move yourself in that direction and you will be emboldened. You will create even more momentum to move towards that inspired vision. Now it is as we move towards the middle of the month that the focus does change. We are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in your opposite sign. And this represents a powerful time for partnerships and relationships of all kinds. Now, I'll talk about love in just a moment. However, where it comes to your business partnerships, your professional alliances, those are covered here as well. This particular full moon is standing across the sky from Venus and Mars. So that in and of itself suggests some need for compromise or negotiation that may be taking place. But the good thing is that with this energy, you are able to contemplate and consider different perspectives. However, it's not just about what's happening at the full moon, but what is leading up to the full moon. We have got um, Jupiter going direct just days before that full moon, and we've got Uranus going retrograde right around the same time. Now, Uranus is the ruling planet of that full moon, and all of that is astrology nerd talk to say. 
that what's happening with Uranus is going to speak to what is happening with this full moon. And so Uranus right now is slowly but surely continuing to move through the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with a sense of destiny. With Uranus standing still, changing directions, that in and of itself magnifies its energy that much more. And the fact that we've also got Jupiterian energy magnified at this time as well, which just kind of makes everything bigger and feel bigger at that, this is going to feel that much more a consequential time where you're asking yourself if it is that your life and what you're doing and the direction you're headed towards and your destiny are connected to what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that you really want to do. And how is it that other people, those one-on-one -on -one connections you have, are part of that journey forward. Now, given that this full moon is in your opposite sign, standing across Venus and Mars, well, that means Venus and Mars are in your sign, but they'll be in the last few days of your sign, which means that they have that much more energy, that much more of your energy, your Leo energy. And so there's gonna be that much more a sense of compromise, that much more a sense of needing to consider this other perspective, whether or not it feels right for you immediately, knowing that there is uh, something to be gained if you are willing to at least consider another way to look at it. Now, for some people, this is going to be an important moment in a business alliance that ultimately will help to evolve the relationship, evolve the partnership, so that you do feel like this person is part of your larger goals, part of what allows you to do more of what it is that you desire. But for others of you, this can be one of those make or break moments. This might be one of those moments where you realize the direction in which you want to go, the career goals that you may have, the life purpose goals that you may have, are not necessarily going to be met within this alliance. And I do think that for a small percentage of you out there, this might be a time when you realize that you are ready to go in a different direction. Now that isn't all for this month because it is as we get to the end of the month that we are going to have a rare second new moon in the same month. And that can be very powerful. It is this second new moon that is a very different energy than we have as we start the month. It is one that is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with, on the one hand, finances, the money that you earn and money that you spend, and it also has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. Now, this new moon is a concentrated energy. It is happening hand in hand with Mercury, Mars, and Venus, and the new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. This is luck, this is blessings, this is a feeling like so many areas of your life have changed because of the new opportunity that finds you now. For many Leos, this will be a new financial opportunity, a chance to earn more. For others, it's gonna feel like a real lucky break where it comes to acquiring something new. And for others still, this is going to be that sense of a boost in self-esteem and self-value. Given that Uranus is speaking in supreme harmony, chances are that some sense of success or accomplishment or alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life is going to be part of the gains that you make at this time. If there is any kind of interview or audition situation, I would really encourage you to try to do that as late in the month as possible so you can start tapping into this energy that much more. If there is any place where or any way in which you've been hoping to ask for something you want from a higher up, uh, from a person in a position of authority, again, try to use the energy of this new moon because it's that much more likely to go in a way that is beyond your expectation and in a way that you love very much. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things stand out to me. It's all happening mid-month. So one is, of course, that full moon in your opposite sign. For most Leos out there, this is gonna speak powerfully where it comes to relationships. When we have important lunar activity in your opposite sign, someone is there so that you can understand where you are in love and why and how you feel about it. But then you add another layer to this and that is Jupiter moving forward. And Jupiter, as I spoke of in the Jupiter special horoscope, uh, for you this year has been all about getting your flirt on. Well, not all about, there've been lots of areas that have been blessed here, but 
it has to do with your heart and what awakens our heart more than romance and flirtation and uh, feeling a sense of being in love. That's a powerful way to feel more connected to ourselves and our own desires. While all of this is being activated, the main areas of love in your chart are being activated under the sky. For those of you open to meeting someone new, I think both of these energies are gonna be very powerful. Jupiter moving forward is gonna help you to get your flirt on, help you to enjoy the journey of meeting new people. And it is, of course, that full moon that's gonna allow you to attract an experience into your life where you get to look at where you are in love and why and how it is that you really feel about it. Given that this full moon is standing across Venus and Mars in your sign. Now, both of these planets are very intricately tied to our understanding of love. Venus has to do with your sense of worthiness to attract the love that you desire. And Mars is a sense of physical attraction, a sense of what it is that makes you feel more awake as you move towards another person. And so there is going to be this awareness at this time as to what and whom it is that you desire, uh, as to what it is that you believe you need to be in order to have the love that you desire. Now, all of this essentially a big learning opportunity, it all is, but yeah, an attraction and meeting someone new, this is going to be one of the most powerful months to have a connection with another person. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you just start to date somebody, I think Jupiter going forward is gonna be really helpful in that it will allow you to feel as if you are moving forward with this person and at least getting more clear as to where you are with this person. But I think the full moon helps with that a lot as well. I see this full moon as you getting honest about whether or not you think this is gonna work or not. Is the compromise too much? Is it that you are not having faith that there is love out there and that you have options out there where it comes to love? Or is it that you are holding on to uh, some hope that this is gonna be something that it is not meant to be? Now, where it is that this is genuine and this is right, then this is gonna bring you to a very stark moment where you're able to see that more clearly and accept this person that much more. But where it is that this bond may not be right, then you'll be able to at least look at that as well and move forward from there. Now, those of you in an established bond, as lovely as Jupiter is, and, and Jupiter moving forward can help you to enjoy each other that much more and can help the two of you feel more romantic or at least for you to feel as if there's more romance, I do think that full moon is by far going to be the more important energy. That full moon is going to represent a moment of truth. Now, whenever we have a full moon, it is like in that area of life, we get more honest with ourselves about something that maybe we've already known. Our true feelings around a particular person in this instant, uh, or if it was happening in another part of the sky, about that area of your life, it's like a truth that you can no longer avoid. It's always been there, but just now you're ready to acknowledge it. And so if there has been an ongoing matter with your partner that maybe you haven't wanted to look at, well, this is where it's going to bring it forward. This is where a conversation or a clarity is going to happen. If it is that it's not so much about a given situation, but rather something that's happening in your partner's life, which is also possible, that can be part of this as well. But given how it is that Mars and Venus are speaking with this full moon, well, chances are you feel as if this is speaking to you, this is affecting you. It is reaching you personally. So I don't think it's likely that this is gonna be something that is only about what is happening in your partner's life but in some way will touch you on a level of heart. In some way, this sense of being honest isn't only gonna be about your partner being honest, but about you being honest with yourself as well as to what it is possibly that you've been feeling for a while. Now, what's also interesting is under the light of the full moon, Mercury will end shadow, which means the entire Mercury retrograde season, which spent part of the time in your sign will be good and over. I think these energies working together are going to represent an important moment in your relationship. 
And it is gonna be one where either you feel that much more in love, that much more dedicated, that much more understood, or you realize where it is that maybe a little bit more work and more understanding needs to happen. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I'm gonna say that new moon late in the month, I actually think that is energy that possibly for almost all the signs is gonna be the best part of this month. And for you in particular, you are ending this month on a high prosperous note. Some sense of abundance becomes clear to you and some sense of celebrating what is good in your life and what is available to you, whether it's an internal understanding or some external resources that open up, well, there's every cause to believe that not only are you well provided for, but that there is an abundance of opportunity in your life, an opportunity to do what it is that you desire and to do what it is that feels not only fulfilling, but ultimately helps you to feel more in alignment with a sense of destiny. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.